How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Tune 1030, and today I thought I would bring you all another Jurassic World Live content, and this time I'm going to be sharing you all information regarding the next event schedule. I know that we had a fun time with the Q Creatures event schedule. Wait until you hear what the next event schedule has to offer. Be sure to not go anywhere because there's a lot to cover. So without any delay, let's go ahead and jump into it. If you take a look at the screen next to me, the theme for this week's event schedule will be Raptor Week. It's going to be from November 16th until 22nd. Let's first go over the 50 creatures, then we'll go over Strike Towers. From Wednesday to Thursday, you will have opportunities of Dar Dinaculus and or Velociraptor. They have hybrids. The one I recommend using your attempts on is Dinaculus. Reason because it spawns less in the wild the other one. Friday, you will have opportunity to dart Blue, Pyraptor, and or Trodon. Like I said, with the commons, these ones have hybrids. Even though that Blue is available as a raid boss, but I recommend using your attempts on her. Reason because she's also event exclusive. Saturday to Sunday, you will for epics, you will have opportunity to dart Ghost, Red, and or Tiger. By the this video, they don't have hybrids yet. I recommend using your attempts on Ghosts. Reason because it seemed to be spawning less in the wild than the other epics. Now, you will also have opportunity to build to Dart, Alaraptor, Indoraptor Gen 2, Paratator, Pyrosuchus, and or Utah Centeraptor. Like I said with the previous ones, these ones have hybrids except for Interruptor Gen 2 and Parasuchus by Tiger's video. Now you only get two attempts and I recommend using attempts on Pyrosuchus. Reason because just to get to level 20 in case if it gets a hybrid near future. You never know. Ludia can surprise you. Next week, Monday to Tuesday, you will have opportunity to dart Charlie, Delta, Echo, and or Utahraptor. Like I said, with the previous ones, these ones have hybrids. I recommend using your attempts on Charlie. Reason because she seemed to be spawning less than the other rares. Now getting to the strike towers Wednesday, standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, rare strike, advanced, standard epic experience. Thursday, standard rare beginner, standard epic beginner, send strike theme. Experience, you also get yourself a stat boost strike advanced that focus around damage. Friday, standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, a epic master strike that will theme around ghost. You also got yourself a standard epic experience. Saturday, standard rare beginner, standard epic beginner, rare strike experience. You also get yourself a stat boost strike advanced that focus around health. Sunday, Standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, a epic expert strike. Next week, Monday, standard rare beginner, standard epic experience, stand strike theme experience, stat boost strike, advanced up, focus around speed, and you also got yourself a rare strike that'll be advanced. Tuesday, standard common friendly, standard epic beginner, and a epic expert strike. Alright, so here is a recap of the creatures I recommend darting. That's everything that the next event schedule has to offer. Overall, it's decent. If it did not feature any of the event schedule creatures and or the Interceptoraptors, the event schedule itself would probably be best skipping. That's all the cover for today's video. Now, let me know in the comments below if that's ever covered here. I'm looking for the event schedule. Which of the future creatures are you personally planned on the most? Let me know your thoughts. I'd like to hear it. Hopefully, you all did enjoy today's video and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Check my channel subscribe bell for more content videos. And as usual, see you all in the next video. And until next time.